Well, I didn't get a lot of wetland training out of my schooling and I thought it would be a good thing to add to my resume for jobs because there's a lot of um, jobs out there that require this, a lot of environmental consulting firms and stuff are looking for this kind of skill. So. And I work at an environmental consulting firm um, and so far have only had the skills to sort of apprentice a different employee with the wetland skills who actually mm -hmm. works in another state. So I wanted to gain the skills especially for uh, Massachusetts specific regulations to be able to take charge and delineate wetlands and apply. Having seen the forms before but not known kind of how to do it on my own, I expected to get more hands-on experience with plant ID, soils, and hydrology, you know, like those are great parameters, um, and then just get out into the field more, which is always the quickest way. So. Mine was pretty much the same, except I had no experience coming into it, so I didn't even really know what to expect, except coming out of it knowing, in general, how to delineate the different types of wetlands that there are. We learned about many different kinds of wetlands. I think we delineated a uh, shrub, swamp, uh, um, vernal pools, wet meadows, and so I'm pretty comfortable with the different types of delineating and I at least kind of know what I'm doing now versus awesome. not knowing anything before this class. Mm -hmm. And another good tool was um, challenging one another's flags as though we were dealing with a different body, whether it's public work to private or vice versa. Um, it's always harder to tell someone else why you put up a flag as opposed to putting up a flag and being like, yeah, it looks good. So, um, in addition to the actual flag tying, got an understanding of what to expect. Um, being the person in charge of wetland delineation, what, you know, how you have to back yourself up mm -hmm. and uh, stand by your line and sometimes negotiate or work with others. What's best for <laughs> the site or the environment, especially the, the plants and wildlife.